Hey y'all, this dish is our version of a British dish called bubble and squeak, which is supposedly called that because of the noise it makes while cooking. Bubble and squeak is traditionally made from leftovers, typically of potatoes and cabbage, but you can use all kinds of veggies to make it. You are going to use potatoes and cabbage in this version, but they won't be left over. And yep, you will be using regular potatoes, though they will be small fingerling, red or golden potatoes, which are not the same thing as the large, overbred Idaho or russet potatoes that are pretty devoid of nutrition. Potatoes shouldn't necessarily grace our plate every day, but if you make smart choices about which types of potatoes you choose, most people can add them occasionally without too many issues. On that note, let's get cooking. First, boil four cups of water in a pot on the stove. While that's heating up, heat a little oil or butter if your body can handle it over a medium low heat in a tall walled pan. Once the fat is hot, add the cabbage with a pinch of salt and cook for 15 minutes or until soft. You can turn the heat up a little bit at this point to help the cabbage cook faster, but make sure to watch the pan and move the cabbage around as it cooks so it doesn't burn or stick. Once the water is boiling, add your potatoes and turn down the heat to a gentle boil. Cook the potatoes for about 10 to 15 minutes or until fork tender. Once the potatoes are cooked, drain them and rinse with cool water. Next, lower the heat in a little in the cabbage and push it to the side of the pan, creating an open spot. Add some more oil or butter to that pan. Then add the potatoes to the pan and mash them a bit. Turn the heat back up a little. You are looking to fry the potatoes just a bit in the pan. Add a little salt and pepper to taste. Cook the potatoes until crispy. That's gonna take at least 10 minutes. You can stir up the cabbage while the potatoes cook or just let it sit. But know that the cabbage on the bottom will get more caramelized than that at the top. While the potatoes are crisping up, put a pan over a high heat. After about a minute, reduce the heat on the pan to low medium, then add the sausage. Heat the sausage until it gets brown and crispy to your liking. Once the potatoes and sausage are cooked to your liking, plate everything together and eat up. 